This is chapter 8.1, exercise 1 through 10, page 641, and this is really section 8.1 of chapter 8. This has to do with parabolas and in the beginning of the conic sections. In exercise 1 through 6, find the vertex, focus, directrix, and focal width of the parabola. And for this, we're trying to get uh, an equation of what I call the, uh, the focus form, I'll call the focus form of a parabola, or sometimes I can call it the focal width form. The focus form of a parabola it's in the form x squared equals 4PY. Okay, in this form 4P, it, 4P equals the focal width. Of a parabola, P equals the focus, and more specifically, distance from vertex to focus. And the last thing we're going to be looking at here is the directrix. Well, the directrix is quantified by the negative of P. And so the directrix is the opposite direction of the focus from the vertex. And we're going to go ahead and, and figure this out. So in this form, we have we have this form x squared equals 6y. Well, in this instance, this 4p is equal to 6. Okay, so I'm just going to write out the equation. 4p is equal to 6. And so that's already our focal width. So I'm, since we're given this already, I'm going to, where am I going to put the answers? Probably in lower right. Okay, focal width Okay, and if we to solve for p, if we divide by four, we have p is equal to three over two. So that's going to be our focus, meaning the distance from our focus to the vertex will be 3 over 2, or decimalized, that could be 1.5. Okay, the vertex is going to be the negative. So, uh, directrix, I said the vertex, the directrix is the, is the negative. So, equals negative P, which will be negative 3 halves. And so that's going to be an equation. Directrix, it's the equation y equals negative 3 halves. And as far as the vertex, the vertex is going to be right at the origin. And I'm, so I'm going to just draw a little picture here of what's going on. Okay, we have a coordinate plane right here. We have a parabola, our parabola right here comes down the focus. Okay, focus is going to be at three halves. 
So that's our focus. Our focal width is going to be across here. And our directrix is going to be the equal distance on the other side of the, the vertex. So in this case, we have y equals negative 3 halves is our directrix. So that's, that's what it looks like. Has that answered everything? Uh, let's see. Y was, oh, vertex. Yes, vertex. That's going to be at the origin. So our vertex is going to be the point 0, 0. So that takes care of all of our essentials. I'll box them in as correct here. Next, let's go to problem number, next odd number problem, which is three. Here we have a, a vertex. And uh, what we have is this y minus two and this x plus three. Uh, these will move a parabola up or down. And this is going to be in the form y minus k uh, quantity squared equals 4 times quantity x. Well, I don't want to put, let me just go ahead and make it, I'm going to say 4p. Let me just do this, 4p, leave it kind of general, uh, x minus k, I mean it's h, excuse me. And what this does is it is it shows what's going on here. So the vertex is going to be found by looking at h and k. And so vertex, I'm going to put this to the right here, vertex is going to be h comma k. Well, h is going to be, in this case, we have plus 3. So the h has to be negative 3. And the reason is, is that in order to get x plus 3, h has to be negative. And so it's like minus negative 3. So our vertex is located at negative 3, comma, and it's the again y minus k. Well, k is going to be two. So that is going to be our vertex. Now, as far as the the focal width, well, the the focus, the focal width is going to be four is equal to four p, and that's our focal width. So our focal width is four. And solving for p is going to be our focus, so we divide both sides of this equation by 4. So p is equal to 1. So focus is equal to 1, meaning the distance of the focus to the vertex. And we have a y squared minus, I think this is going to be a rightward opening perhaps we saw for y we're going to get plus or minus square root but we're, ju we're just about there uh, directrix okay that's going to be um, since we're going to have a, an equation for directrix the directrix is the equation of a line. In this case, we have a vertex of negative 3, comma 2. And so that's really where the vertex starts at negative 3. The directrix is going to be one unit farther to the left, which is going to be the point uh, actually be x equals negative 4. 
as far as the focus length is one, but in terms of coordinate, uh, uh, the coordinate pair, that's going to be at negative two, comma two. So focus length is one, but it's the coordinate pair negative two, comma two. Okay. So we have vertex, focal width, focus, directrix, and what this uh, probably looks like is this. We got this. In this case, we have our vertex is at negative three comma two, so we go to negative three and up two. So our vertex is going to be right here. Our focus is one unit to the right at negative two comma two. Our parabola is going to look like this, rightward opening parabola. I'm drawing this from two sides. Okay. So that is our focus right here. Our focal width is this distance, this little vertical line segment I'm now drawing in uh, purple. And the directrix is over here at x equals negative 4. And I'm drawing that right here, x equals negative 4. That's this. And going back to 1, go back to 1. The focus is a, it says 3 halves. Actually, as a coordinate, as an xy coordinate, that focus is going to be at 0, comma 3 halves. Okay, that's in terms of coordinate value. Okay. We'll go to 5. Okay, we have find the vertex focus directory, same thing. Now, in this case, we do not have the equation solved for x squared, so we have to take this equation, 3x squared minus 4y uh, equals negative 4y, And we need to solve this equation for x squared. So if we divide both sides of the equation by 3, we get x squared equals negative 4 thirds y. Well, what happens here is that um, 4p is equal to negative 4 thirds. And our focal width is uh, I would say negative four thirds, but we can't have negative distance, so I would say four thirds. Yeah, that's our focal width. Now we don't have any adjustment for x and y, so our vertex is going to be as in problem one, at the origin, zero comma zero. As far as our, if we have four p equals negative four thirds, we solve for p by dividing by four. If we divide both sides of this equation by four, we get p equals negative four over 12. which equals negative one-third. Again, distance negative. We really can't have negative distance, but it gives us an indication where this, this function is going. And so we have a negative relationship, and if we, if we solve for y, we would have the negative over on the other side. So what we have is a downward opening parabola, and the parabola looks like this. The vertex is going to be at the origin. So we have the origin right here. We have a downward opening parabola. Okay, so I get this. 
Now we're opening Parabola. We have our focus at one third, and we have our focal width of four thirds. Okay, that's our focal width. And what is our directrix? Well, our directrix is going to be the negative of our focus. And so in this case, our focus is negative one third. So the equation for our directrix. is going to be y equals positive one-third. And so on the other side of the vertex, the plus side, we have our directrix at right here in purple. So a focal width, our focus. Oh, what is the, what will be the coordinate uh, Pair value of our focus. Our focus is going to be the point zero comma negative one third. So even though the distance from the vertex of the focus cannot be negative, the value of the focus can be in the context of a value in a coordinate pair. So this is what that's what this parabola looks like. And the focal width, four thirds, vertex. I think we have everything here. Okay, we go on to the problems. Uh, Seven ten match the graph with its equation. Well, we have uh, seven here. X squared equals three y. That's going to be if we solve for y, we're going to have x squared equals. I mean y equals x squared divided by 3, that is going to be an upward opening parabola. So, so parabola C would qualify here for number 7. Okay. Uh, number 9, y squared equals negative 5x. Okay, so what that's going to be is, uh, since we, we have this equation as a y squared equals instead of x squared, then we have a different sign, we are going to have a leftward opening uh, parabola. So that would be parabola A is associated with number 9. And 8 and 10 you can already probably get by elimination. Uh, 8 is going to be what? B. And our last remaining D is going to be our rightward opening parabola. So that's actually 7 through 10. Anyway, I hope this uh, video demonstration has been helpful to you. Good luck in working your other problems, the even our problems 2, 4, and 6. And I thank you for viewing.